and straining U.S. relationships with Russia and China. Really important relationships. And we're talking about how you praise countries like Russia and Venezuela for standing against human rights violations and refusing to compromise their principles. Seriously, Ed, where do you even come up with that? What are you thinking? Now, I understand you don't want to come back. I mean, to do so would mean giving up your freedom. Definitely before trial and likely for several months or years thereafter. I get it. It's, it's in prisons in the U.S. that commit actual human rights violations. We just talked about it. More than, more than 80,000 prisoners are held in solitary confinement, some for years, some indefinitely, despite the fact that solitary is cruel and psychological da damaging. I know those aren't the human rights violations, though, Ed, that you were complaining about. But, but you might have nothing to worry about anyway. Because unlike most of the people in solitary confinement, including, including private Bradley Manning on trial for giving data to WikiLeaks, you've cultivated for yourself a, a level of celebrity. And that celebrity itself may just act as the protection, a kind of, another kind of cloak. If you ever find yourself in a U.S. prison, you have made quite a spectacle of yourself. And the Obama administration will be very careful about how it treats you unlike how states treat all those other prisoners. So come on home, Ed. Then, you know, we could talk about something else. Sincerely, Melissa.